Fiona? Thanks to you, we've managed to get rid of loads and loads of meteorites. Ah, good timing. There's something I need you to do. Like what? Remember how I was saying that the meteorites belong to someone's constellation? Yeah. Theoretically, it's not possible for stars that are goodness knows how many light years away to suddenly turn into meteors and fall out of the sky. But however paradoxical it may be, this is the reality. If we want to get to the bottom of this, the best way is to find out whose constellation it was. Okay. Based on what you've told me, it seems that all victims of the meteorites fell into a deep sleep and all of them dreamed of a snowy mountain. Now, we may not know which mountain this was, but we can safely assume that it's not Dragonspine. Otherwise, someone would have recognized it, right? Mm -hmm. Did everyone definitely have the same dream? And where exactly were they in the dream? These are the questions that we need answers to. Hmm. I need you to find out more details about the sleeper's dreams. The more information we have, the closer we can get to the truth. Is there anywhere that we haven't been to yet? There is Chinksa village in Liwa. Although it does not usually match your suggestion of somewhere with lots of people around. Yeah. That said, I suspect that the Millilith will have turned that area into a site where victims can receive medical attention. Much as they did at Wangshu Inn. Mm-hmm. Hello! We're from the Adventurers Guild. Can you tell us if Chingsa Village has been affected by the meteorite strike? Adventurers! Perfect. I was beginning to despair at the lack of helpers. These meteorite strikes have been going on for days now. Don't even get me started on how much trouble it's caused. How much trouble has it caused? If one lands in a field, no one dares to go and harvest the crops. And if one lands at the entrance, access is a complete nightmare. Mm -hmm. Do you have any ideas on how to safely dispose of them? They're just making everything impossible. Guess we'd better help this guy out. Are you okay, dude? <laughs> you seem to be, uh... I, I don't think you're going anywhere, dude. Alright, brother. I cleared everything out for you. Done and dusted. Wonderful. Oh, what a huge help. Have any of the victims woken since the start of the incident? Oh, I wouldn't know. You're better off just taking a look for yourself. Okay. Mortal. Art thou also descended into the realm of suffering? Here she comes again. <laughs> hey there. Has this guy woken up at any point? No. He has said a few things in his sleep, though. What kind of things? So cold. Can't go on. Things like that. Somewhere cold up in the mountains. Where could it be? Somewhere cold up in the mountains. Hmm. It wouldn't be here, and it probably wouldn't be in Mondstadt. It would have to be like a snow region. Hey, has this guy woken up at any point? <sighs> Not so far. Okay, um, has he said anything in his sleep? Now that you mention it, yesterday he suddenly cried out, so high. Who knows what he was dreaming about. How high? High as a snowy mountain peak, maybe? A wicked mountain. Its frozen peak looming high. Home to a malevolent power. Let's talk to that guy over there next. Ooh, that guy behind you? <laughs> Hello. Have any of the victims woken up? Funny you should ask. Gal the Six literally just woke up. Gal the Six? Alright. We're gonna go talk to him. That's fine. But he's only just awoken and is still very weak. If you must question him. Please be gentle. Greetings, you who have suffered and lived to tell the tale. Aww. Your sovereign shall question you now. Why are we letting Fischl do the questioning? <laughs> food. <sighs> Need food. Are you okay? Sounds like you're starving. <sighs> what are you hungry for? Any dish you like. I need... <sighs> home... <sighs> home cooking. Home cooking from Chingsa Village? Well, that can only mean one thing. Farmer food! <sighs> uh, 
that's brought me back from the brink that has. Did you have a dream while you were sleeping? Only the most exhausting dream of my whole life. Way up in the mountains, the highest mountain I've ever seen. It was freezing up there. What were you doing there? I'm not sure. It's like I was... possessed. I was consumed by the idea of climbing up the mountain and trying to reach the summit. Was there something special at the summit? Or... Who knows? Honestly, it's like I became a completely different person in my dream. Don't ask me why. So I have no idea. It wasn't you? Dude, this is really weird. <laughs> Who would be doing this? It's like I was being controlled, as if somebody else put the idea of climbing the mountain into my head. I know how crazy that sounds, but... An intruder trespassed in the dark recesses of your soul? An idea not autonomously generated by the individual, but that appeared within the subconscious. Yes, the signs do indeed mm. point towards mind control. <laughs> I should be used to this by now. All the other victims we've met have talked about being cold and needing to rest. Were they all climbing the mountain too? How can they all be having the same dream, though? Paimon doesn't even want to think about it. We need to update Mona on all of this. Gotta go back to Mona. Mona! We found some stuff out. An ice-capped mountain looms over the world from far above the clouds. That is the place from which this burgeoning dark ice-capped mountain. Is that all? <laughs> it is the same ice-capped mountain in everyone's dream. It's a really, really high mountain that no one's ever seen before and it's super cold up there the sleepers are forced to try and climb to the summit but they don't know why climb the mountain to the summit i don't i have no idea who would be doing this what sort of person would wish to reach the summit of that mountain and how is their desire strong enough to exert an influence on others? Perchance some poor soul lies there, buried in the snow, hounded to death on the mountain. Uh, that's kind of dark. Or some intrepid explorer was exceptionally keen to conquer that particular mountain. Maybe. Oh, I'll do another reading. <laughs> She's so excited. I see something here. It's a little vague, but I think I can get his name. Ah, uh, yes. Leonard. Leonard? Wow, that was fast. Well, in case you'd forgotten, I am a genius. Yeah, okay. Leonard. Hyman's never heard that name before. Hi. Uh, huh? Oh, hey. Sounds interesting. Mind if I join you? How would he what get hell? here? We meet again, favorite of Inazuma. <laughs> My retinue and I were just... Hey, wait a minute. Why'd she do that? The first time the Millilith were present, I had to forego the chance to strike Del Mondstadt's savior. This time was a perfect moment. I was mere seconds away. Wait, he's a harbinger? But who was that mage? She could not have known who I am. Perhaps her powers are real to her things unseen. Soldiers! Sir! Sir. Find them, and when you do... What? Another one? My lord! Oh, I... It's happening again. I should have known. This is the largest one we've seen so far. They just keep coming. But so be it. Move out. Change of plan. Your prior objective remains in force. Continue to research the meteorites. My lord, leave them to us. We will make short work of them. No, you, you will not. Jeff for just stupid. When did I give you the right to issue your own orders? My, my apologies, my lord. Now move out and complete your objectives as assigned. 
I should have known. Nobody ever looks that cool without being a bad guy. Any junior fortune teller could have told you this, but that man was a Fatui harbinger. That was too close. How did you manage to get caught up with a guy like him? He was pretty friendly to us when we first met him, at least. A Fatui harbinger? Why? Their wickedness knows no bounds. Then again, Child was very friendly to us as well, so... Whatever he was planning to do, he was heading straight for you. And he is an extremely powerful individual. I sensed it the moment I looked at him. He's far more powerful than you'd imagine. More than Child? As much as it pains me to admit it. Surely his power cannot match that of the astrological genius of the century. I never said that. <laughs> His strength may exceed mine by a hair's breadth, but in astrology alone, he doesn't come close. What interest could the Fatui have in the meteorites? They must be plotting something. <sighs> maybe. Just maybe. Mm. Oh! The Fatui are the ones who caused the meteor shower in the first place. Was that it? Really? Paimon, that was my line. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Paimon's mouth just works so much faster than everyone else's. <laughs> Does the power to summon a meteorite strike really exist? Well, Madara did it, so... Osvaldo Hafnavines, what is thy opinion? I think that anything is possible, main Fräulein. So long as they can afford to pay the price, they will never stop sowing their seeds of destruction. I also believe that miracles can happen. Astral Emissary, you have performed admirably as a member of my retinue. I will dispatch my forces to protect you, and they will ensure that the encroaching- You have- you have an army? She means... me. Oh. No need. Paimon thinks that our current lineup works just fine. No need to fix it if it ain't broke. Yeah, basically, it's just me carrying you guys all the time. You underestimate me, Fischl. I'm far stronger than you seem to think. Main Fräulein trusts no one more than yourself, my lady. She is simply concerned for your well-being. There's really no need. In any case, you're in a much more perilous position than I am. If anything, you need my protection. Mona, you're a good person. Official, you're a good person. Wait, do I have to choose? Is this gonna... Wait. I don't... <laughs> Why do I have to choose? <laughs> Let's try Official. I wanna, I wanna give her some attention, I guess. <laughs> Naturally. For now, we must deal with the new threat. My astrolabe tells me that a new meteorite has landed, and it's the biggest one yet. This is the one. I sense an unprecedented amount of elemental energy within. The very heart of darkness descends upon the world. What do the Fatui want with this? Is it the elemental power? Probably. It's possible, but if that were the case, other life forms would surely be drawn to the meteorite's energy too. Huh? Is Fischl waiting for us? The time has finally come. Though it brings main Fräulein no joy to do so, there is something she must announce to the assembled populace. My loyal servants, one must bid you adieu till such time as I beckon you once more. What? You're just gonna bail on us? She's leaving? Why? With the arrival of this giant meteorite, many more people have succumbed to the slumber. Strong as the soldiers may be, they are struggling to cope. And there is demand for volunteers everywhere we turn. Mm. Main Fräulein and I shall tend to the victims on the soldiers' behalf. The rest of this investigation we place in your capable hands. Okay. Goodbye. 
All right, I guess they're just leaving now. You are a good listener. I enjoy chatting with you. That is the most normal sentence I've ever heard her say. Thank you, Fischl, for that. And also, I am very surprised. To be honest, most of the other adventurers in the guild only ever talk to me when they want to hear Oz's reconnaissance reports. This little journey we had? It was a great adventure. I'm just sorry that it has to end so abruptly. Dude, she's actually talking normally. What? You're talking a little weirder than you normally do. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. What am I doing? I totally broke form. <laughs> what main Fräulein means to say is... Is... Is that the <laughs> mysteries that... <laughs> he had to come up with the sentence for her. <laughs> Main Fräulein simply wishes to say that she has every confidence that you will arrive at the truth of this matter. Ahem. Most indeed. My dear attendants, I hereby charge the Ritter Dürfe Ertelung with leading you out from the dark. Who are you calling your attendants? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Oz. Thanks, Fischl. We will meet again. Once this matter is concluded, I propose that we all get a drink together. I'm st still underage. Well, now we're two people short. But let's not get hung up about that. The good news is I found something else out. These rocks have been around for hundreds, maybe even thousands of years. Leonard must have lived a very long time ago. Oh. The meteorites carry his will and can pass it on to others. In other words, centuries on from Leonard's life and the strength of his will is not diminished one bit. A guy from the distant past with a burning ambition to scale the highest mountain. I'd be willing to bet that he was an adventurer. Just like you. Mm -hmm. An adventurer? That does explain his obsession with mountain climbing. Man. <laughs> Our approach so far has been too passive and time has been against us every step of the way. We need to change our strategy, and we need to attack this problem at its source. Paimon agrees. From now on, we need to put Leonard at the center of everything we do. Yes. Because if the meteorites carry Leonard's will with them, then it's precisely as Fischl said. The rocks are, in a sense, a curse. I'm a little incredulous, but it turns out her blind guess was actually spot on. <sighs> No, I'm a respectable astrologist, and I shouldn't stoop to that kind of criticism. Mm. Anyway, all we need to do now is remove the curse. Okay, how are we going to do that? Since we've got a historical adventurer on our hands, Paimon thinks we should pay a visit to the Adventurers Guild. Our records show that there have been many adventurers by that name over the years. It is impossible to know which one you refer to. However, I do recall that there is a book in the library authored by someone called Leonard. Perhaps you should take a look? Hey, Lisa! Who's Leonard? The index says that Leonard's book should be in the northwest corner on the top floor of the library. Northwest corner... Should be right over there. Where? This? No. No. Oh, there it is. Found it! Of Mountains and Seas, a guide for adventurers written by Leonard. But the words Ugh. have faded, and there are even pages missing. My goodness. I've got no hope of reading this. Oh my goodness. Darn. Maybe we're just wasting our time on this one. Don't give up. Let's see what Mona says. Oh, right. Yeah, Mona. She might have a better idea. Look what we found! Leonard wrote a book! It's quite incoherent and there's a... It's quite incoherent and... It's quite incoherent as there's lots of... <laughs> I could have predicted as much. Your average astrologist would definitely give up at this point. But you're not an average astrologist, are you? But I am Mona, progenitor mm -hmm. of the future of astrology. Nothing can stand in my way. <laughs> <sighs> 
finished at last. Just as I thought. Leonard was an adventurer who lived 2,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. His lifelong dream was to reach the summit of a mountain called Pylos Peak. Mm -hmm. Somehow, for some reason, this constellation was summoned down from the sky. I suspect that the Fatui have something to do with that part. The meteorites harbor elemental energy, which radiates out and lulls people to sleep by some means akin to hypnosis. And if I'm guessing correctly, there should be some sort of core meteorite among the bunch, within which is a crystal that harbors Leonard's spirit. Okay. Well, if I were Leonard, I would want to make sure the core lands right on the snowy summit that I never made it to while I was alive. So, the core should be at the top of Pylos Peak? Where is that? Paimon's never heard of it before. Apparently, Pylos Peak no longer exists. Oh, okay. Are you trying to say that the tallest mountain Paimon's never heard of just disappeared? Hmm. I once read somewhere that the Animo Archon, Barbados, once used his divine power to mobilize the winds and blow the ice and snow from the face of the earth. The whole landscape of Mondstadt was changed in the process. Oh. The mountains of that age were replaced by the vast stretch of ocean we see today. Still, the mountain that high? Drop it into the ocean and it'll still leave a trace. The summit still reaches just above the water's surface. So the place known as Pylos Peak in Leonard's day is today known... Let me guess, hold on, let me guess, let me guess, let me guess, let me guess, um... Yeah, I don't know. As must grief. <laughs> I would have never guessed, never mind. Uh... Oh no, why is he here? Oh, so this is Pylos Peak. Not much to show for itself now, eh? Looks like someone beat us here. Is this, like, a popular tourist spot, or...? No. Uh, it's our enemy. It's you! <sighs> huh? You again. Did you just wake up? Look at the state he's in. Was he in that dream just now? He managed to extricate himself from the dream on his own strength? How is that possible? <laughs> Just because you are powerless to do something does not mean that I am. You're too late anyway. I finished my research. We knew it! This was all a dirty trick by the Fatui! Save it! No more fun and games for me today. I'll come for you when I'm good and ready. You entered the dream they've all been having, didn't you? How much do you know about Leonard? Leonard? Who's Leonard? Ah, uh, whatever. Wait. I have bigger fish to fry. Uh. I've discovered something far more important and far more terrifying. The stars, the sky, it's all a gigantic hoax. A lie. Hmm? Wait, what? The stars are a lie? <laughs> what are you talking about? Is this some kind of astrological debate between you and Mona? Because if so, surely you can come up with a better argument than the stars are a lie. Get up, Pyman, get up! Seriously, who's gonna fall for that Ooh. one when you can just lift your head up at night and see the Ooh. air twinkling away? Get up, Pyman. <laughs> oh, you are so naive, it kills me. Still, can't really blame you. After all, I used to believe the same thing myself. Up until a few moments what ago. What is this guy talking about? A few moments ago? You mean... Look. I really don't have the time to do this right now. What was the jester thinking? He must have had some inkling of what we might discover on this mission. Would it really have been so difficult to give me a little forewarning? Hmm. Or maybe he just wanted to give me a fright. Uh. Time for me to go out and find the truth. Uh oh. So long, suckers. Oh, can you believe that guy? Uh oh. He calls us suckers and then he just trots. Oh, off. nice. No one disrespects me. No one. Oh. Nice. Wow. You fought so fiercely. It was just two dudes. Told you. 
That's what happens when you disrespect me. <laughs> You're a force to be reckoned with. You bet I am. Paimon, you agree too, right? Did I show those Fatui who's boss or what? <laughs> sure did. Without you here, those guys would have caused us a whole lot more trouble. Yeah, true. See? How do you like that, Harbinger? Scumbag. He's not here. He seemed genuinely shaken, though. I don't think he was lying. I was always taught to talk about the false sky during astrological readings. Could there be more to such phrases than I have been led to believe? <sighs> I digress. Come on, let's finish the job we came to do. This stone harbors an unbelievable amount of elemental energy and human desire. It's the core, all right? Should we destroy it? Yes. Otherwise, the victims will never wake up. This core is the root cause of everything that has happened. Do it. With ropes, we can scale mountains. What is this? With boats, we can sail the seas. By age 40, 40. I had conquered every last domain. Oh. Pylos Peak alone defeated me. Aww. As an adventurer, and well, maybe in other ways too. Now, Is this? I am approaching the end of my life. Many times I have sat and stared up at that peak as the boundless snow slowly engulfed me. Yeah, this is Leonard. It is a beast without weakness. The merciless face of the world. It fills me with fear. And when an adventurer loses courage, they can no longer climb mountains. My mountaineering days may be over, but I have a greater ambition now. Humans create tools to conquer nature, and when nature conquers them in return, they create better tools. Mm. Where our legs cannot take us, maybe our tools can. And when tools fail us, perhaps wings can carry us instead. How poetic. My dear friend, I leave you my oh. designs for the wings of incompletion. Wait, what? Against the unknown, humanity stands as one. To be alive is to seek. To set foot in every place that the eye can see. I have little time remaining, though the wind has not yet come for my soul. But between us and your children, students, and friends, I believe that someone will reach that place at last. So wait, did he create the glider? Wow. Well, that was unexpected. Who would have thought that human will can survive in the skies for millennia on end? Astrology really is an incredible thing. Uh, what makes you say that? The ability to communicate with the stars can give you access to all the secrets from throughout human history. Though, of course, very few astrologists ever reach that level. Thanks, Mona. Uh, what's with the formal tone all of a sudden? Mm -hmm. And speaking of formal tone, what is the deal with that girl, Fischl? She's a curious one. You saying that now? Paimon thinks so, too. She's so... How to put this? <laughs> She's full of weird and wonderful thoughts. Yeah. Although... If you think about it, seems she was right all along. Yeah, was Fischl the smartest one here? It's hard to admit it, but she actually was right. Is she one of these people who uses the wrong method, but still gets the right answer? You may well be right. Paimon thinks that the most surprising thing of all was how Pylos Peak turned into a teeny tiny little island. A mountain of yesteryear now sits as an island in the sea. Almost anyone from Mondstadt could reach it now just by jumping in a boat. Do you think Leonard would be happy about it? The situation with Pylos Peak might be a bit of a shock, 
But now, with the help of the Animal Archon, the people of Mondstadt are able to glide. With wings, people can travel further and higher than ever before and explore new and unknown places. So he, yeah, so he was the creator of the glider, okay. The victims should finally start waking up now that we've dealt with the core. And we have finally finished our commission Aww. from the Adventurers Guild. Look at us, we're so happy. And we've done it. 